Pierce. Okay, so first person who put their hand up, way at the back, yes, you. And then I saw you, and then we'll get Pinky, and then Octavia. All right. Don't worry, guys, I got lots of rounds. <laughs> Go to my handy dandy chart here. Okay, so. The first one we're going to do is called Two Liners. Does anyone know what Two Liners is? No? no? Yeah. Maybe? OK, which one of you is feeling spunky and random and can say a lot? Him? OK. You're, you're, Mike's feeling spunky and random and can say a lot. You are the only person that has free vocal range in this scene. You can say anything as long as it is. Family appropriate. Yes, as long as I'm not going to get in trouble for it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so Octavia, you get two lines to say, and only two lines. So the only two lines that you can respond to him with are, I really like her mane, and it needs to be about 20% cooler. <clears throat> Pinky, your only two lines are, that's how Equestria was made. <laughs> and just because, I never leave home without my party cannon. Oh, your name tag's flipped. Mm. Oh, okay. NJ, your only two lines are, all the ponies in this town are crazy. And this is the worst possible thing. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, guys, let's give Mike the microphone a scene. He's lost in the Everfree Forest. Okay, you're lost in the Everfree Forest. You find these three ponies, and you're going to ask them for directions. So whenever you guys are ready, go. This is the worst possible thing that could happen! Did his man get muffed up? <laughs> the ponies in this town are crazy. Oh no, I must agree, you all are absolutely psychotic. <laughs> no, but I must ask you, do you know which way he went? This is the worst possible thing? It is, I am lost. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for all your help. It needs to be about 20% cooler. <laughs> I never leave home without my party kit! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I want you to jump around because that's what this is. That's what makes it fun. You're volunteering the guy with the Fluttershy. Oh, the Fluttershy twins. Fluttershy is great on stage. <laughs> come on, come on up. You volunteered. You have volunteered, which means you are now mine. <laughs> okay, so this one is called Questions Only. All right, so we're gonna step your, you guys into teams. I'm like right here, so you guys are a team, and you guys are a team. Yeah, yeah, get to know each other. Bro, go. It's good. It's good. Okay. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, that was also terrible. Okay. So the name of the game is I'm gonna give you a scene. 
You're gonna act it out, but you are only allowed to talk or speak in questions. One person from each team is gonna be in the scene. If anybody breaks that record or stops speaking in questions, the rest of the audience gets to go, Err! try it with me. <laughs> and then they switch places with their team member and the team member tries it. And this was where you guys get to make a lot of noise because they don't always speak in questions. It's hilarious. Okay, so let's give them a scene. A fire breaks out at Sugar Cube Corner. A fire breaks out at Sugar Cube Corner. Yes. Applejack has been getting not enough sleep again and trying to help Pinkie Pie's make cupcakes. You already know what happened the last time. All right. So, uh, teams, pick one person to come forward and start. <clears throat> okay. So you take a, take a, one of you takes a step back. There you go. Aha! Good chorus. Okay, so whenever you're ready, start the scene. Remember, questions only. Yeah. Okay, fire breaks out in Sugar Cube Corner. Questions only. Go. What are you doing here? <laughs> what is that? Is it a fire? Why are you asking me this question? Can we put it out? Why can't I? Do you have the fire extinguisher? Why don't I? <laughs> have you found it yet? <laughs> Y'all still burning sugar in here? <laughs> Is 
black hand or anything. Okay, I saw your hand go up with the phone, yeah, pink thing. Yes. Professor Muffin. <laughs> you are Professor Muffin, the super pony. Okay, so how it's gonna work is Professor Muffin's gonna be doing Professor Muffiny things, and then all of a sudden a crisis will appear. What kind of crisis can appear for Professor Muffin? I saw you with the blue and the, and the colored hair. Um, Muffin right. A what? Tax evasion. That's that's a horrible thing. <laughs> that's horrible. That's Princess Celestia gets all up in that. <laughs> you don't want to see her when she's I angry. Your <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Professor Muffin realizes that there are ponies that are having tax evasion problems <laughs> and doesn't know how to solve it. So he's going to call in his super pony friends, and they're all going to come in. Here's the fun part. Professor Muffin gets to name the next. Super Pony, give the next Super Pony his name as he comes on stage, basically calling him out. Then that Super Pony gets to name the next Super Pony. Then that Super Pony gets to name the next Super Pony. Unfortunately, the last Super Pony doesn't get to name a Super Pony, but the last Super Pony gets to solve the crisis. Yes. And then after the crisis is solved, you all, you guys can all like, you know, fly away or run away or you know, speed away in a Super Pony mobile. I don't know. Okay. So whenever you guys are ready, we'll get you three to step off. And then you'll come in on in that exact order. And so, Professor Muffin, whenever you're ready, you can start the scene. Okay. Yeah. The audience. Yeah, you're 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 basically you're you're in your lair. You're doing your Professor Muffin things, and then you're gonna notice okay. that there's a crisis, and you're just gonna okay. be like, ah. So face them, not me. My Muffalentia. <laughs> Tax evasion. <laughs> Blueberries. Chocolate chips. Cranberries! Bananas and nuts! Tax evasion! Pretty, pretty princess ponytail! <laughs> Idea. That yes, seems, we need to have a full stomach of food before we think about this. Second, 
we'll find a comp USA and we got wait there that's also gone okay, <laughs> we will go we will we will pirate turbo can you do that can you pirate turbo do we have a computer I don't do we have we have an established what year it is ah. okay so it's I'm gonna say 2012 is probably the year oh god okay listen <laughs> We're gonna get, we do this. Anyone have their receipts from the previous year? We stop touching the fire! Here you go! Uh oh. oh. These are, it's on fire! Yes. <laughs> Why did you hand up the only person in the room who's on fire? All right. Just shuffle. Uh, according to most of these receipts that are on the ground, you ate everything at Denny's. I can't, I can't help but feel that's why you're shouting out breakfast items like oatmeal and bananas and whatever. All right, well, um. Don't forget cranberries! Of course, don't forget cranberries. That'd be very. Okay, guys, can we at least just get like a bucket of water for a second? Like, it's kind of. That's not my power. My power's being incredibly annoying. You don't annoying. need a power to go get water. I... So, just to be clear, a man on fire. Does it, you, your excuse tax for not being out. That's tax evasion. We just need to send these people to jail. All right, we need to. <laughs> need to <laughs> Why haven't they done it before? That... Jail actually seems like a good idea. All right. I and mean, that's pretty reasonable. That's yeah. good. All right, well, listen, let's just go to the DMV and then see what we can do from there. They're really, really helpful. So. I think they can accommodate 500. All right, let's go. Let's get out of the back end. Come on, guys. Let's go. <laughs> No, I have not picked easy ponies. Okay. 
So since we've got them up on the stage, I'm going to let them use the microphone. You guys should be very chill with it. We'll pass it around, okay? So, bachelor number one, bachelor number two, bachelor number three. Did you guys move? Yeah. Okay, so as long as you remember who you are. Yes, okay, it's good. So, one, two, and three. And whenever you're ready, Spike, we your ladies. Thank you. Okay, bachelorette number one. As you probably know, I love gemstones. And if we were going to go on a date and become a couple, what kind of gemstone would we be and why? I don't know about gemstones. I mean, they're all right. I think not. I mean... I think we would probably end up being something like a ruby. You know what? You're taking too long. Okay, so, so you know what we would be? We would be diamonds because I am awesome. And, you know, nobody can beat that. Nothing is harder than a diamond. Nothing more precious than a diamond. And I am the most precious in all of Equestria. Gemstones. Why do you want to talk about gemstones? Your pranks are so weak. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What is wrong with you, dude? I hate you. After at number three, you scare me. I think I'm gonna get a second order. Okay, so that was all right. Um, not really, though. Bachelor at number one. Um, so, I've been fortunate enough to go to the Grand Galloping Gala with all my friends, except that they all ditched me and I had to go ahead and go to some donut store for myself for seven hours while they had fun. <laughs> How can I know for sure that you won't just leave me so you can go hang out with some other pony? Yeah, I had some friends that went to the gala. Losers. Anyway, I never go to the gala in the first place. It's too peppy. It's too fancy. I'm gonna get down there. I like it. <laughs> I would rather listen to some music, rock out, you know. But I'm not sure you have the guts for the music I like. I wouldn't even think about going to the gala. I have so much more talent than anybody that would. And Spike, you know, I know that I'm better than you, but... Don't start me, sister. But you've got some qualities that I like. Okay, keep going. Except for when you go to sleep, and then you don't get anything done, because then you can't be the greatest pony in all of the question. I can tell you straight up that as soon as we got to the galley, I ditched your butt. I mean, seriously, Rainbow Dash is way cooler. She's my best butt. So you. Okay, we're still in the scary part for Bachelorette number three. Thank you. <laughs> so I also have some friends that they sort of possess these magical items, even though I never got one. I always thought I was, you know, I'm like the number one assistant, but I thought that Twilight would like me, but <laughs> so bachelor number one, if we were in Element of Harmony, which one would we be and why? I would be Element of Radicalness. I don't think that any of these losers are rad enough for me. I don't think that you're quite rad enough for me, but I think that all these ponies deserve to know what real radical swag is. <laughs> and I think that what was your question again? <laughs> if 
we were in Elements of Harmony, which one would we be and why? If you want, we can just go ahead and move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Well, I mean, I don't even know why I have to answer these questions, because obviously I am the best choice here in all of the room and anybody that you could ever meet. So I think that these questions are horrible, but if, if you insist, I think that I, not, there's no we here, just me, I think that I would be the element of talent. Because nobody knows magic like I do. And there is no question about that. I don't care what you say. I am the best. I like abusive relationships. You'd like me if you like abusive relationships. <laughs> First up, Bob, there is no element that fits you. That's why you never got one. Okay, don't start with me. <laughs> if there's an element for sky tricks, that'd be my element. You don't deserve one. What kind of people did you get for me on this show, really? <laughs> Like everybody just doesn't want me. I'm alone. Is there a rarity in the house? You need some help. I want a hog. It's a rarity over there. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a rarity in the back. You should go hug it. I love me too. 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 I love me too.
We go to the same school. We do? Yeah. Okay, so this is the moment that I had you write all the things for. Oh, oh, hey. This is where I don't get to make them do anything. You guys as the audience make them do stuff. Yeah. 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 This is why we get the floor, because you know us to be funny. So, basically this is scenes from a hat. I don't actually have a hat, so it's just going to be scenes from on top of this table behind me here. Scenes from a hat. Scenes from a table or I don't know if my people will fit in the hat. I need to keep a tally of every time I say I don't have a hat, how many people throw hats at me? I need a chair! Yeah. I've been doing this for so long, you think? You know, I've been doing this for like seven years. You'd think I would learn to bring a hat. Right? You would think. Awesome. Okay, so pretty much what they're going to do is I'm going to give them a scene, something that you guys have picked, um, and they're going to step forward one at a time, improv something from that scene really quick, and then step back, and then so in a line, stand in a line in front of me. Yes. Take up the stage. Do we, have to hold, do we hold hands also? And single by us. Yeah, you guys can do that, but I just usually have to step forward. That is a J at best. That is not a line. I find this works better for uh, crowds like this, just having you all up here. Okay, so yeah, one at a time to step forward when you have an idea, do something from that. If uh, the scene goes on for too long, or um, I find that you guys really just run out of ideas with it, I switch it. Or I might just switch it. So we just run with what? the scene? Just go with it? Alright, Okay, so for the next 10 minutes you guys get to dance like monkeys. Alright, so the first scene we give you is... Open Gundam style. Main yeah. six find themselves <laughs> out of a dog. Uh, and this has to be conveyed in dance or in words? Uh, <laughs> everything. Well, you're, you're this is conveyed in interpretive dance. Have you ever seen whose line is it anyway? Okay. It's just like that. Okay. Pinky, stop. You can't keep slinging yourself out in the streets like That's that, okay? Like, I don't do anything. My you left the job at Sugar Cube Corner a long Why time ago! Why do you say things you know will hurt? Listen. <laughs> you know this thing? Why are you hitting up smack? Okay, listen. Hey. Why is second Pinkie Pie also doing smack? Okay, please tell me you're not... What is going on with our friends? Flutter smack! Flutter smack? <laughs> Oh, okay, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Didn't know the rules. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wasn't. Sorry. It's your turn now. My turn? Okay. We're just gonna switch it. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Mic on! Princess Luna's room in the castle at 4 a.m. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Husband. 
Damn it. Uh, so, I love you. <laughs>
Apple Bloom gets the worst cutie mark ever. <laughs> oh, I want to go so bad with this one. All right. Is that Blue Maker? <laughs> yeah, it's like four L's, but like in a circle. And... <laughs> Five years. Oh, okay, problem solved. <laughs> well, bless it, sweetie. It's time to actually put you to use. It's not like she's a unicorn or anything. Show me that plot device. <laughs> that's it? There's nothing really else. I'm not, I'm not touching that. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> again one of those I things that is good for the 18 plus version of the panel. <laughs> I don't have one. Of those. <laughs> go back into the one thing that really matters in life, fixing my eyes. <laughs> okay, I think we've got time for a couple more. Uh, Applejack wakes up in Rarity's bed with no memory of the previous night. <laughs>
All right, so ladies and gentlemen, folks, we need to clear this room as quickly as possible because we need to set up for our next event. So please turn around as quickly as you can.